This coming Sunday, April the 12th is Easter Sunday. Traditionally, many of us have gathered in public worship spaces, churches in which uh, there've been uh, hopefully enough room for us to be able to cram in and get a seat, but this is a different Easter. In fact, this may look more like the first celebration of the resurrection when no one knew what was going to happen or what had happened. In fact, people were afraid. They're afraid that, uh, that somehow they would be next, that the one whom they followed was dead and, and they went looking for him in a tomb and he was not there. Uh, there are many ways in which we look for things in life and what we do know is over the next a few weeks that this is going to be a critical time in, our, in terms of the health of our communities. And I hope that you begin to think about how is it that, that the resurrection story will be made alive even in the midst of the pain of human suffering that continues because of the coronavirus. What I hope you find is, is that resurrection is not just a one-time event, but it's something that you look for in which God is continuing to make all things new. And that's finally what resurrection's about. And I hope over the coming days and as you celebrate the resurrection of the Lord, either online or as a family gathering around the dining table, that you'll be thinking about what will the resurrection be like for us in the coming days. I am living with a great sense of hope. I'm living with a great sense of hope, not because I have any wishful thinking about what's going to happen immediately, but that somehow I believe that we'll begin to hear the story that as much as the virus has spread, that the goodness and love and the compassion of Christ has spread even more deeply and even farther. The tales, or should I have said authentic stories, of all that I hear that people are doing for others only makes it more real and so true that the Christ still lives in ways we have not ever experienced before. Now you have a blessed resurrection season. God bless you.